Welcome to Travelogs Hainan series. I'm Greta Georges. For the next two episodes, I'll be taking you along the east route, starting with Wenchang to Tsionghai, down to Wanning, and then finally Lingshui. You'll be able to sample local Chinese and ethnic minority cultures on this tropical island. Expect a heavy dose of sun, sand, and sea. Hainan means south of the sea, and it's an island tucked away off the South China coast. Sounds remote? Well, not with a 300-kilometer national highway on its eastern side that connects Haikou to Sanya. The east of the island is generally better developed and even boasts the only high-speed bullet train in the region. This is a really popular route. It's all packed up from Haikou to Sanya. It takes only two hours, and our next stop is in Wenchang, which is 20 minutes. Very, very ultra-modern and comfortable. Oh, how's it going? Our first stop is Wenchang, 63 kilometers southeast of Haikou. This is the hometown of most of the Hainanese migrants to Southeast Asia, a region that was better known as Nanyang in the past. We've arrived in Wenchang, and the first destination is Yi Hang, which is also known as Old Street. You gotta look for my ride. There are lots of tuk tuk. Hey, ni hao. Ah, what you eat for hang? Ah, ha. You know, in the tropics, you can uh, sit in one of these very cool vehicles. They call it a tuk tuk in Thailand, and in China here, they call it feng tai che, right? This. Ah, ha. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I love sitting in one of these because you get a sense of what the city is like. You can literally weave through traffic and tiny little roads and get a sense of what the spirit of this place is like, seeing the daily lives of people. And I get a feeling that, you know, the overseas Chinese culture here has such a strong presence, not only in the, you know, the way they talk, the way they eat, but also in the architectural style. You can see old shop houses that's uh, along the old street and. What's interesting about them is it's because the overseas Chinese went off to Nanyang and so they brought that style back and you can see it in Haikou as well but it's more pronounced here with a touch of Wenchang. Throughout Wenchang's 2000 year old history, it's been most celebrated for churning out scholars. Hainanese spoken here is even regarded as a standard in the provincial broadcasting. The people here are enterprising and often rise above their circumstances, leaving their mark of excellence wherever they go. So we went to the Confucius Temple, hoping to get a clue as to where Wenchang locals find their motivation. Hey, hello. Mm. There are many people who come to our temple here. 都会带着一个疑问 there's a saying that goes, shoot for the moon and even if you miss, you will land among the stars. The model here seems to be just that. Wenchang Confucius Temple was originally built in 1048 on the territory of the Northern Song Dynasty and was relocated to Hainan during the Ming Dynasty. Over the centuries, countless county officials and nobles have come to pay their respects here. It's no wonder I feel a deep sense of serenity and peace in these ancient surroundings. It's hard to believe that this was a place where Tang and Song Dynasty court officials were sent in disgrace. But back then, Hainan was perceived as a remote part of the empire. With all this fun in the sun, it can't have been such a bad lot. But obviously, things have changed drastically since then, and Wenchang is known for more than that. In fact, this tour guide told me that with a high literacy rate, 
almost 80% of the government officials in Hainan come from Wenchang in the past. This is why Wenchang locals pay tribute at this temple as the quality education is highly endorsed by Confucius himself. And we're off to visit an ancestral home of the first female president of the People's Republic of China. Song Qingling made a very special contribution to the Chinese Revolution and the founding of this nation. This is where the three famous Song sisters can trace their roots. The caretaker, Mr. Li, gives an insight into their legendary lives. It's so humbling to see this background that they came from and and you know that they were able to do all that they did these three brothers and sisters and this is where they came from well not them exactly but their father and not from rich so this is the bed where Su Yaoru was born on this rotten mat. You know, that, that she would be giving birth to this boy who would, who would have, you know, children. These six children would change the entire political history in, in China during the 20th century. Unbelievable. Arm yourself with the history of the Song family and that will help you fully appreciate this place. I marvel at Wenchang's power as a seemingly simple coastal town that produced such an outstanding and important family. Although the village is entirely rebuilt in later times, it gives us a good understanding of where they've come from. But that also explains why none of the family members have visited in the last 10 years. We're going to have Wenchang chicken and this apparently is the most popular and oldest store in town. Wenchang chicken or Hainan chicken rice is one of the most famous dishes on this island and is enjoyed throughout China and Southeast Asia. The locals tell me that the chicken here are fed on a diet of coconut and peanut bran, which makes the meat tender and succulent. We went behind the scenes and snooped around looking for the secret sauce or some special ingredients, but to our surprise, there was none. Simply stuff the ginger into the cavity of the chicken, add some salt and cook for 20 to 30 minutes. The key? Getting the fire at the right temperature. If, you, if a store looks like this and they don't have to renovate even after a hundred years, you know why. Because people just keep coming back because the chicken is so good. They get massive lines. Given its heady reputation, the food here is surprisingly inexpensive. And now the moment of truth for my cutting culinary analysis. This is the chicken rice. I've grown up eating this all my life in Southeast Asia, so the flavors might be a bit different and that's what I'm here to try. You know what? It's very fragrant, but it's definitely lighter. Back home, it's it's more heavy going, a bit more oilier. I like it. And I'm gonna get put the chicken to the test. What we do at home is that we'll have like soy sauce and put it around the rice and eat it with uh, chili, garlic, lime sauce. But here, it's made with chicken soup, garlic. You can see there's like ginger pieces in there. I'm gonna take a bite out of this beautiful succulent chicken. Mmm. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful. It makes a world of the difference. It's just top notch. I'm just put the whole thing in my mouth now. Ah. Oh. Mmm. So good. 
受不了。Come and experience a low-carbon lifestyle at Farmen Bay. Drink freshly plucked coconuts on the beach and head to Four Al Forum for some serious business. You can lead a low-carbon lifestyle at Farmen Bay Greenway and bike at your leisure along all of its scenic 54 kilometers. This eco-friendly bike incorporates Wenchang's waterways. Fishing villages and homestays, and connects the four towns of Wenchang, Fengge, Wenjiao, and Fengjiao. But the star attraction here is the pristine mangrove forest wetland reserve. Here, the plan is to protect the island's rich and unique ecosystems. The view here is simply stunning. I mean, what I love about this place is that this is a nature reserve, and it protects a very rich. Biodiversity of this tropical climate, and especially the fastest appearing mangrove swamps, which are basically going at an alarming rate. So, for nature enthusiasts and biking lovers, well, there's another route you can take. It's a 50-kilometer route to Dongjiao Coconut Plantation, and you can go all the way. The developers were quite clever in building farm and greenways around these quiet fishing villages, leaving them virtually untouched and respecting the coastal communities. Aha, map! All right, we're here at Baomen Bay. So this is the entire area, and we started at Hongshan Service Area. We rode along this green eco path. Oh, we're just here at Dongchuan. Now, if you want to go to Dongjiao Coconut Plantation, you have to follow this route all the way, bend around. It's going to take you 54 kilometers, so you really want to make sure that you're stocked up with food and equipment. Speaking of food, you can get lots of good local cuisine, fresh from the rivers, great seafood, and then plenty of this all around the area. But I'm pressed for time, and I must go right now. Ciao. I confess, I didn't ride to the coconut plantation. Plain old television magic transported me here instead. Half of the coconuts found in Hainan are from this plantation. With over 500,000 coconut trees, it serves as a natural shield against the frequent typhoons here. A beach, but sometimes you get thirsty. <gasps> you know, there are lots of coconut trees around. Oh, look! How convenient. There's a guy with tools. I think he's the coconut climber. Hi, 师傅 Ah, 可以弄一个椰子吗？可以啊。你是用这个工具的？对呀。哇，好专业哦。有刺儿的。This is really sharp. It's like steel. This is real value for money. For just a few rimming beat, a fresh coconut is plucked for you from the tree. Whoa! Lovely! Look how fresh that is. Ah, 谢谢 Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, manna from the heavens! It doesn't get any fresh than this. Fresher than this. Okay, let me have a go. Really thirsty. Wow, this is really good. I ate some sand too. Wow, wow, 师傅挺棒的。这个，这个是不是挺挺年轻的？这个，哦，所以它的椰子会比较容易裂，是吧？哇，可是真的是好东西。我们也省得把它给砍了一刀，对吗？哎，你是几岁开始爬椰子树的？你你比我们的二十多岁的小伙子还更更有力呢。五六岁，五六岁就开始了。您您今年多大？四十多。有没有五十啦？快，差不多五十了。哇，真的是太不错了。The plantation was developed as Hainan's province's first tourist resort back in 1989. Since then. With careful expansion and improvement of the facilities, this area has become dotted with vacation resorts. 
You know, coconuts are known as the elixir of life, but it can get a bit freaky when you're walking through the trees, just wondering if it's going to fall on you. I kid you not, locals have a saying that coconuts have eyes, and there was once I walked through a coconut plantation and one coconut fell right in front of me, but I was okay, because it just missed me completely. And that's what I believe, the power of just coconuts being the way they are that... Oh! 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 oh. We bid goodbye to Breezy Wen Chang and head to Zhonghai for some serious business, as this is where the Boao Forum for Asia is held. Once a year, leaders from government, business, and academia in Asia and other continents convene here to share their views on the most pressing issues in this dynamic region and the world at large. Now there are lots of police cars at the back because we've come just in time for Boao Forum for Asia. And this is modeled after the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. So security is tight and that is as near as we can get to the conference. This is a time when the top movers and shakers, government officials come together and convene in this place to discuss about ideas for a sustainable future. The forum is held on a separate island, but you might catch a glimpse of some foreign leaders cruising down the roads if you're lucky. If you have a business or a conference, you might want to choose to stay in this hotel, which is the only one on the island. But check when the Boal Forum is on, because during that time, all the rooms are sealed and only high-level government officials can enter and stay on this island. But don't worry, lots of accommodation options in Shanghai. The BFA Hotel is an eco-friendly five-star hotel located at Boao Aquapoli. With the advantages of Hainan's subtropical natural landscape and some first-class facilities, it's built and designed to satisfy the demands of discerning travelers and the business elite. What a great room. Well, here's a tip. If you can afford it, choose room 1539 because it's the best room in the hotel with a million dollar Guinness World Book of Record view and that's what we're here to check out. <sighs> now this is what living it up is all about. You see that? That's one Chen River and this narrow sand peninsula separates it from the South China Sea. So it's the narrowest sea river separating sand peninsula that entered the Guinness Book of Records. Now, that's what I call a money shot. Located on Dongyu Island, the BFA International Convention Center Golf Club is designed by the famous Australian course designer Graham Marsh. His team cleverly merged the unique terrain, the surrounding streams, waterfalls, and a garden landscape to create a stunning golf course. Here's great news for golf aficionados who only have the time to hit the grounds after meetings and seminars. Soak up the fun in one trend river and get ready for a wide array of sporting activities. From app sailing to canoeing, we'll have an adventure in this lush greenery. the bus for about two hours now it's 9 a.m. and we are heading on to Wanchuan River it's the third largest river in Hainan and some call it Mother River I can't wait to see it Wanchuan River flows 163 kilometers from the highest peak on the island Wuzi Mountain and packs a wide array of sporting sections abseiling cannoning and stream trekking are just some of the exciting activities you can try this is the starting point for the rafting activity on one Chuan River. I've got myself the essentials. You've got to prepare a set of waterproof clothing, underwater camera, because this will get totally soaked because we're going to get wet. There's life jacket and star boots for stream trekking, but mental preparation helps too as the water can be littered with rocks. All right. That's the station where we get ready to start our venture. 
大家都穿。我们先做这个床下去啊，先、啊、做这个床过河。OK。然后整个人会湿的，对吗 ？So we're all ready to rock and roll now. We're gonna get on this raft and head to the starting point of our adventure. It's gonna be abseiling, cannoning. I'm excited, and we've got Mr. Jun. You're gonna, he's gonna be our coach and our guide, and we're in good hands. 不会危险吧？太危险。Okay. 好，你说的就算数。这边带了很多绳子啊，设备，都、啊、带了好多设备。好，那咱们走吧。好。Looks like the heavens have decided that it will be a slow and gentle ride down the river. The coldest months are January and February, when temperatures drop to a balmy 16 degrees, while the hottest months are in July and August, with temperatures peaking at 31 degrees. With the tropical moist monsoon climate, the river gushes more ferociously when there's precipitation. But today is just not that sort of day, and we take an hour and a half to gingerly cover 21 kilometers. Looks like China's answer to the Amazon. Tropical rainforest. Okay. This is the best and only way to do this in this unpredictable terrain, as the staff have all the equipment to make the experience safe. Oh, it looks like it's raining now. I'm actually really happy and excited about it. Because Look, we're in a tropical rainforest and the ground is wet, it's muddy with leaf litter, creepy crawlies all coming out and I know, it just feels, it feels really lovely to just get close to nature. Just when I profess my love for nature. Okay! Oh, I thought that was a worm! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, a worm is better than a snake. There are definitely snakes. Is it on your side we're starting to go down the slope. I think that's a good thing. It's getting really, really wet. The humidity here is quite high and, you know, we're perspiring and, and, oh gosh. Actually, my cameraman is panting and he's almost like, you're, you're soaked. Ugh. Oh gosh, he's super wet. I'm so all right. Okay, but we're gonna cool down very shortly. All right, this looks somewhat dangerous, so I'm gonna go down to my coach. Hello. So wait, wait, wait I probably should record this. Ah! Oh my goodness, I'm a bit of a clutch. Okay. 好，我们就把它锁锁定了之后，我们现在我们就开始穿过来，然后两脚踩在悬崖上。啊。好，首先我跟你再说一下，我们这个整套设备承受拉力是两吨半的拉力，明白吗？两吨半的拉力。我吃了早餐嘞。然后我们站在悬崖的脚尖踩在悬崖，两脚放开，与肩同宽。好，明白吗？好好，明白了。好，我先下了啊，看你的。先下一次，然后握这个安全绳。先站起来。Oh my goodness. You you are so. No. Oh okay. Despite the butterflies in my stomach, I face the challenge head on, feeling safe in good hands, or rather, good ropes. The water's freezing and ice cold, so naturally I insist that someone from my crew comes along for the ride with me. And we unanimously vote for my director. The river surrounded by villages and coconut trees is an idyllic setting, but I feel anything but idyllic, with my heart racing with every splash and drop. But rest assured, all the staff are trained in the military, and having planned out the routes carefully, they leave nothing to chance.
super yucky and stuff. This is such a beautiful place. It's like Amazonian China, but really clean. Okay, I'm done. Yay! What a brilliant way to end the day. You know, the overseas Chinese return to help shape the culture here. And the people I find are friendly, easygoing and hospitable. Hospitable enough to hold the all-important Boal Forum tucked in this beautiful setting with the Wanchuan River running through it. And for the next episode, we're going to be traveling down south. So till then, my name is Greta Georges and this has been Travelogue.